actually took quite a long time to solve this question. I, I missed one detail that was really useful. Um, I did. Like the first thing you've got to realize is all of these are going to be 60. So you can label them all 60. Um, I'm just going to label a couple of them 60. And right, we're interested in TGO. So that is that angle there. So I'm going to call that X. Um, and also, because it's a regular pentagon, the angles add up to 540. Number of sides minus 2 is 3 times 180 is 540. That's how you find the interior angle sum of any polygon. Divide that by five, which is 108. It is actually worth learning your interior angles for the you know shapes up to I don't know, like do five, six, and so on. Seven is obviously harder, but it's yeah, I, I try and learn that 108 is the interior angle of a regular pentagon. If you haven't done that, um, it's just for speed in these sorts of situations. So that is going to be 108, and we can label some other ones as well, which is what I actually did when I did this problem. Now, in fact, there's something crucial that I, it took me a while to read this. I must have missed, like, just not read the question fully when I did it. But we are told that the center is O and that all the lines go through O. And that actually means something quite important. First of all, it would, it would actually uh, bisect these angles necessarily because it goes through the center. But also, it must be that this is 90 degrees. Okay, because if you drew all the lines in, like from the corners to the other side that that would happen um it would it must split the sides into into two um you know you'd get congruent triangles you could prove it anyway but it's kind of i don't know is it intuitive um it, it by symmetry it must be the same either side okay that i guess that's as simple as it can get so now i've got 60 90 108 just missing this angle here so let me add them up. I'm going to get 60 plus 90 is 150. Add 108 onto that, which gives 258. Whoops, 8. Should do that. Should write it again. 258. So that missing angle here is going to be 102. Okay, 360 minus 258. And then x plus 102 must equal 180 because they're on a straight line. So my answer is going to be 78. So it's actually quite quick if you realize that. Uh, it, you know, I'm not expecting you to have spotted it that quickly. Um, I actually ended up finding lots of angles in terms of X. And then I just kind of got back to the beginning. You have to use, you know, something like this. There are other ways you can do it. Um, I think in the solutions, they, they start like joining like lines up. But that feels a bit complicated. I think the 90 degree idea is the quickest way to do this question.